just silly. And it just, I, it just silly stuff. And I think, I hope you guys have, I saved it to the end because I think it's just so much fun. Oh, here is my hero flattened out a little bit. John Wayne, now you know you're at the right place when the Duke's on the job and he's got his gun and he's ready to go. I found this, I found this in a commercial building and I thought this was hilarious. Actually, I kind of wanted to buy it and bring it home, but they, they loved it just as much as I did, so that I didn't get to take it home. But the Duke is on guard, so make sure that you run across that. Partner, be wary. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, here's Mr. Action Figure. He's sitting up on the window, and he's guarding it from intruders. And there's no intruders coming through that window. Of course, I got a feeling if most intruders seen the condition of that window, they wouldn't feel safe going through it either. But I found out. I just thought that was so cute. I see this kind of stuff all the time, alligators, toys, and stuff up in these places. I, you know, I might just do a video one of these days if I talk my producer, Joey, into doing it with me. And that is doing one on all the crazy animals and stuff we find on the job that are like that right there. But we see this stuff all the time. And it, it, it just puts a smile on your face, that's all. But he's guarding it, and nobody's breaking into this house. He's, that, that is what we call their security system. <laughs> oh, that's great. So anyway, let's do this one here. You know I love these right here. See that right here? So what I did is I got a leaky pipe. And how we fix leaky pipes? We just stick a rag around them. And met this guy here, he's smarter than most of the other ones that you saw that were sticking rags around. He put a little bit of foam around it so it hold that rag tight. Yep, yep. And uh, of course, you know how well that held up. <laughs> right, you know. <laughs> At least he used the right foam. <laughs> Don't, uh, there it is. Rag in the hoe. Another one. We see it all the time. It is hilarious. Oh, okay. So we're going to keep on moving here because we got a few more crazies here. And see what we got here. You're going to love this one. All right. So his wife told him he needed a chimney cap. So I guess he was just rooting around in the trash and he found him a Jim Dandy one and he just laid it right on top of his stack pipe. This is a stack pipe for ventilation for your, for your drain, for your uh, for plumbing drain. So he laid that, found this piece of trash, laid it on top. It's laying right on top of that vent. So now it's not even getting good ventilation like it's supposed to. He's got this old piece of crap laying up on top of the roof. You know, his wife was so proud of him. Not. Uh, not after she saw it. She, I, oh, that was so funny. She got on to him big time. What are you doing? Well, it didn't cost you anything. Yeah, well, it kind of did. It kind of did because now you got a mat. Now you cause more grief. Your, pl your plumbing's not draining properly. And that's a bigger issue. So, yep, we just find some stuff in the trash. We'll fix that. Here you go. Here you go. I love this here. I just love it. Well, just, just use a clothesline. Now, most of you folks don't even know what a clothesline is. Clotheslines we used to use outside to dry our clothes on. Luckily, this guy still had some of this left around here, and he just tied his duct work up. That's how you do it. You just tie your duct work up a clothesline. That'll do it. And then you can even dry your clothes on it maybe, huh? I don't think that's a good idea, but maybe. There it is. Uh, but hey, look at that awesome knot. He did a great job with a knot, huh? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Sure glad I, 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 I see these things and I just, I, I just, you could hear me laughing on the job sites when I run across this stuff. All right, here, here we go. Mike was here. Well, good for you, Mike. What was you doing up on this roof? This was actually, so it, this is a commercial project. And at first I didn't know if it was M-I-K or, but that's what it is, M-I-K-E, Mike. Not Mikey, Mike. I guess that way we all know who it belongs to. Mike was here. Now, folks, these cooling fans right here are not designed to put your name on. I think we could just put like over here a magic marker, something like that. If you really got to, if you got to put your name on this thing, but maybe we're just going to call this HVAC, this air handler, Mike. That's the new brand, Mike. Well, let's move on down to the next one, so because we just got, we just, they just are just so much fun. All right, so this is what we call a glorified toilet tissue or uh, Kleenex disposal hole. I guess that's what we got stuck in here. We didn't put it into it. 
We just took some toilet paper or Kleenex and we just stuck it in that hole. I guess that will make sure that nothing gets, gets into it. Uh, really? There you go, right there. Uh, what are you doing? I mean, you, what are you thinking? Uh, you think that's actually done? The guy that did this was proud of his job and was bragging about it. Uh, and when they got the construction inspection, when he hired me to do this, this is what I found. I said, come on, you put, put a cap on it. Probably would have been cheaper than that rubber boot. But this is what we do. This is how we save money. Or this is how we store our old nasty toilet paper. I, I did, hey, and by the way, I didn't reach in there to see what kind, if, it was in, if it was used toilet paper or, or not, or, or Kleenexes. I kind of just leave that one to your imagination. And my favorite of the last one of the videos, do you know what this is? I bet some of you do, most of you don't. I found this up in the attic of a, of a home. And this is one of them sticky, uh, where they got uh, where sticky pads and stuff where the animals get on top of it and they, they get stuck and can't get out. These are all dead mice and dead rats and dead squirrels and been up there. Zoom this in if you can. This is literally, it literally, it, I mean, look at the goo. Look at the goo and the blood and the, where, they, where they oozed out of there all down the sides. You know, and I guess this arrow is supposed to help point which direction it's supposed to drain. Oh, and oh, these people had a fit when I told them I found that up there because they was, bought, they was buying the house. And of course, that was something you got to get rid of. Ugh, I mean, these are dead animals. How long have you left these things up here? Longer than I think any of us want to think about.